Today I'm making fish curry dish with mushroom, oyster mushroom and um, cabbage and some basil here. Uh, basically I I heat the oil and I put some Thai red curry paste in there. You see a little reddish here. And you know, I heat up the oil and the curry a little bit, not too hot. And then I put in fish. Yeah, I cut them in pieces here, yeah, just a fish. And you know, I cook the fish, right? Put a little bit of um, sugar, a little bit of uh, fish sauce or salt, mm -hmm. you prefer. So once the, you know, it doesn't take long, maybe like five minutes, six minutes, once the fish is, you know, cooked, you stir, you stir it around, you know, flip it around, and then I'm, I'm adding um, mushroom here, uh, some little sweet pepper here, and then we're going to be stirring a little bit here. Oh, it's getting burned here a little bit. I'm going to have to add a little bit of water here, just to, to prevent this from too dry. Okay, I thought it's getting burned. Oh, I'll be right back. I've just added the cabbage here. After I add a little bit of water and, you know, lower temperature a little bit here, so make sure it doesn't get burned. So I'm gonna be stirring this for maybe like four or five minutes. Make sure they're cooked but not overcooked, and then that should be done. I'll be right back. Well, as you can see, I um, mix them up pretty good. Now the fish get crumbled a little bit, but that's okay. You know, it's breaking apart quite easy here. It's a fish. We coat it with the red, red curry basically. So, um, and you see this, I don't know if you, if you know what it is, it is um, what is called kefir lamb. We use, we use it a lot in Asian cooking. It has wonderful aroma, it adds aroma to whatever, you know, you know soup, spicy soup, um, curry dish, things like that, it's wonderful. So I try to use different colorful ingredients here to make it, you know, Looks good, plus, you know, it's more nutrition that way. So I'm going to keep stirring this for a few minutes. And then it should be done. And I have, you know, steamed rice ready to go. So it's very simple. It probably takes like eh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to prepare this. If anyone is interested, I can post the recipe, you know, on the video for you. And, um... almost done. Maybe just a few, couple more minutes. I heat it. I heat up. I up the heat a little bit here because you know now it has a lot more stuff in here, so it's not gonna burn. And you know it has. I mean the uh, the cabbage released some water in there, so it's keep it moist, somewhat, so it's not too dry. You know, and same the peppers release some. It has a lot of water in them, so. You can see some water in here. Let me keep stirring it a little bit more. Product. Um, put in a bowl here, ready to go. So the two main ingredients I I like to tell you is basically this baby here is. Um, Focus is uh, Thai red curry. May apply, or it can be any brand. Red curry paste, and I've used maybe like um, one and a half tablespoon in there because you don't want to use too much; it get really hot. And you can make you know liquid as a liquid um, uh, curry dish. What I make is basically a stir fry kind of curry dish, uh, you know, with fish, and it is. Another ingredient here is so, uh, fish sauce. You can also uh, substitute this with salt, regular salt, but 
the, the fish salt here, fish sauce here, actually add, you know, I guess more fishing flavor, but it's not too bad, you know. Uh, for some of you that like to try this, you know, you can get this from any um, Asian supermarket. You know, even, I think Walmart carry them also, different brand, but they're okay. So, um, and you, you know, with this, I, I call it um, red curry stir fry uh, uh, fish. I mean, you can use any kind of meat, you know, with this. It's very easy to, uh, to make, you know. So, um, I mean, I make this in college. I use what, chicken, whatever, you know, and then just dump vegetables in there. So the, you know, what makes it special is the, uh, this guy here that, you know, added the, uh, the flavor, the paste to it. So, and that's about it. It's, you know, it's a uh, for college kit. It's pretty easy to make too. Although I, you know, I have a outdoor um, grill here that I use, so, you know, I, I would, um, I mean, it, it can, I don't say sting, but it, it can create some, you know, um, heavy aroma <laughs> or, you know, kind of little spicy smoke, you might say. Not too spicy in your in your apartment if you're in the confined or small apartment and things like that. You might want to do it a little bit outside, you know, you know, on, on a patio or something like that. Okay, but it's not too bad. It's not going to disturb, yeah, your neighbor. Okay, thank you. Enjoy. Here I have my uh, steamed rice. Actually, I mix brown rice and white rice, jasmine rice together. It's wonderful because it gives you more nutrients that way and I think more fiber because, you know, the brown rice is great, you know. I mean, you know, we used to just eat steamed rice because it looks nice but it's lacking a lot of nutrients. So, actually, uh, you know, now more and more people like brown rice because of nutrients packed nutrient dense should I say that and you know and I use uh, my rice cook here it's pretty old rice cook rice cooker here you know so if you don't have one you might want to get one because you know this dish will go has to go with rice I haven't tried it with noodles or spaghetti things like that I haven't tried this with that yet I'm sure you know it, it will work with any noodles or any fried rice, any rice, even fried rice for that matter. <clears throat> so let me try this a little bit, see how it goes. Hmm, pretty tasty. Also, I added sugar, so it has a little. You know, a little sweetness and you know the curly flavor the strong curry flavor not too strong and the crunchiness of cabbage and bell peppers things like that so it's yummy it's healthy thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it have a good day